Hi everyone, so this is the final cut design I think uh, of the um, front diff subframe. I've done that on SOLIDWORKS again. This is the original one and you can you can see the difference. There's the, <coughs> the driver side uh, engine mount and then there's the uh, near side engine mount here just on that dip. So what I've done is I've dropped the whole thing 35 mil down just so I can reduce the uh, the drive shaft uh, angles from the lift. The CVs have to work on a really extreme angle to balance that and if I drop the diff I'll, I'll reduce a little bit that angle. That should help with the CVs. First plan was uh, just to have that uh, um, machine from a solid, uh, um, uh, solid metal but uh, uh, I've changed my mind uh, purely because I just wanted to do it myself and not uh, outsource it uh, on the machine shop. Yeah, it will take more time, but uh, it's a learning process. I've cut that out of uh, a wood so I can, uh, I can test it, see if that's going to work. So this is ju just, a, just a, a standard box uh, section, it's uh, uh, 40 by 80 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll cut off that, that profile here and then <coughs> And these are the mounting points to the chassis and uh, to prevent it from uh, squashing it when I tie the bolts I'll have uh, these uh, uh, tubes inside welded. The other thing is for the engine mount bolts where they're gonna sit I'll have you can see you can see these uh, threaded bosses. So that's it and then yeah you can see the rest are just uh, um, I thought originally to have the flat bar here bended on the bender in that shape but because of the thickness and the sharp angles I can't and the limited space as well I, I, I couldn't do that so I decided just, just to make it on a few pieces and uh, weld them all together. The end caps would be like that, they'll be again fully welded, that's gonna be uh, one really solid unit, um, it's gonna take a good effort to make but uh, as I said I just enjoy making myself stuff. Fast forward to the computer um, back in the workshop yeah that's the the 80 by 40 uh, square uh, rectangle sorry um, five mil thick really heavy the plan is to trim to trim that shape in here um, and then I've got the flat bar, you can see 8 mil thick, really heavy. Uh, I've got the cuts for that with the hose, so that will be the, the piece that's gonna box up uh, the cut because once you cut the box section, you're losing the top bit, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Let's crack on.
So what I've done of, uh, uh, of the camera is I've trimmed this this bit and and I also prepared these uh, uh, flat bars. They go like so. Like that. And there's uh, a bit here and a bit there. So what I've done off camera was uh, I welded these uh, spacers here. As I said uh, earlier, uh, you can see them here. Uh, they'll prevent uh, the bolts to squash the walls when I nip them up. So that's them done. The captive nuts here for the future. Um, eventually under body protection these are the big holes for plug welding this what I'm gonna do is I'll put that like so I'll weld this along the edges and then once that's done when I flip it here you can see why I made pre-made the holes here just so I can plug weld the, motor, the bottom of these bosses and uh, that should act like a double shear for the bolts
cross member fully done. Road threaded for the diff mount uh, mounts here. Um, I think it's turned out really nice and scuffed up the plugs that I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, they're gonna be in here. That's purely that's purely after the galvanizing uh, you need uh, a drain off point so that was them and uh, that's the holes on the bottom eventually for uh, um, underbody protection so this is the original one yeah you can spot the difference now that is a 35mm drop